here's the thing. Now, I told y'all what's going to happen. We're going to get into this X-Man right here. A lot of people are talking about the X-Mans. You know, everybody thought that this... Brian Sanger's in it, who does the best X-Mans movie. That's right. Yeah. And this is supposed to be one of the biggest ones as the X-Mans face their biggest foe. Now, here's the thing about this review. A lot of people have been saying, I really am curious to hear what you guys say because they lifted that embargo. I don't know why. Because <laughs> once they did, shit just blew up in their face for 20th Century Fox. It hasn't been getting horrible, horrible reviews, but it has been getting what 20th Century Fox would say, disappointing reviews. <laughs> Unfavorable. Unfavorable. <laughs> Unsavorable. Wow. I only saw one review, and it was horrible. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now, is that review being a little bit too harsh? Is that just is that one guy there just did he get his Disney check? <laughs> <laughs> Thank now, you, Iron Man. Yeah, exactly. You know, everybody's saying Disney just paying everybody off to talk shit about superhero movies. Now I got mine, but I didn't cash it yet. I ain't, I ain't taking it to the bank yet. So I'm gonna be fair with this. Then we'll see how I feel afterwards. But as I told you, the X-Men right now, X-Men Apocalypse, they are Facing the strongest, most dangerous foe, Apocalypse, who is considered to be the first mutant. And since he was the first mutant who one of his powers is being able to absorb other mutants' powers, well, he's just been collecting powers over time. And at this point, <clears throat> he is considered to be the strongest mutant out there. And just like any other supervillain out there, for some reason, he don't even know why. He's just like, I just want to destroy the world. I have never really understood Apocalypse. Even in the comics, I was like... Dude, I don't get what you want here. Yeah, he just walk. He just walk after. Th I guess you know after a thousand years, you just wake up cranky. <laughs> I'm mad. Yeah, I'm mad. Right. <laughs> fuck you, look at it. <laughs> Destroy the world. Y'all want to fuck with me? <laughs> She'll so, let me sleep. <laughs> She'll let me sleep. I, I was taking a nap. Y'all making all that goddamn noise over there. <laughs> the reason I call him Apocalypse is because he gets four mutants that he gives the his best powers to, and he his goes four horsemen his of, four horsemen of, of the, the apocalypse. apocalypse, and he goes in and decides to. to to create a new world by destroying the old one. The only people that can stop him are the X-Men that are left to oppose him. Man, they always got to go after those cultural landmarks. They, they do. Every movie. But Mars looking at the trailer right there. They, they, the Sydney they, Opera House. Like, if, you, come if, on, man. if mutants ever really do exist, move the fuck out the city. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to Waco. <laughs> what the hell are they going to hit in Austin like Franklin's? <laughs> Boom. Yeah, they no! will. <laughs> but we got plenty of time to get out because I'll be waiting on that barbecue for about three hours. You see Carl getting sucked up? It was totally worth it. <laughs> I was getting murdered by mutants before. It was cool. <laughs> I don't have any bias walking into this. But I'm going to be honest with you, Martin, that's a good point that you make about them destroying landmarks everywhere because the intro to this movie is too much, man. It is way too much. I've been having for two months now these superheroes throwing shit at me, blowing shit up, blowing my ass up, and I just need a little bit of a break. And I ain't, I be goddamn, it's, they, they get two minutes into this movie before they start losing their goddamn mind. I How mean, because so? you, you want the action to kick it off. You don't want to wait around for it. Well, that you know is true, Martin. But it, it is just so much fake-ass CG just flying all over the place. It is like super superheroes just had an origin in front of a green screen, and it's just going nuts. I'm not going to say that it's bad, because once they're done with that, once they're done with the, getting all that crazy shit out the way, that's when you actually have what we like from Brian Sanger's X-Men. There's two things that work in Brian Singer's movies that I think distinguish them from, uh, or, you know, early on before Marvel was doing that thing. Sure. That distinguishes them from uh, the superhero movies out there, and that is one. There's a lot of human drama that happens with these characters. They're always in costume. You know, they got their things going on, love triangles, and the other thing is the social issues. They feel real. They yeah. weave into the story to in in in, in this world. What makes it feel real is that it's mundane. Mutants are being taught like a, like a history lesson, like the Civil Rights March or anything else. Sure. Just like real life, kids don't give a fuck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> seeing it, done it. And it's also, it, it, and they do little touches in the beginning where they're introducing new things. They're introducing new characters, a new younger cast. And they're also even making comments about movies that do stupid shit. The thing that I, I applauded them for doing this. Like when we watch a movie about high school students and they always got that big son of a bitch who's 30 years old right. and you know he ain't supposos to be there. Yeah. X-Man said, I got you on that. I seen it. The lives were saved by a young mutant who stopped him. 
Now, Lyncher escaped and became the world's most wanted fugitive. And as for her, she disappeared as well. But she has become the symbol of a new age, the face of a world that will never be You're the same. You're waking at my girl? Again. Yes, there was panic. Your girl. There's still some prejudice. I guess you do look old enough to be your father. Found in all well, that's just hurtful, man. <laughs> that's rude, sir. That is rude. Look, your wrist feelings really are hurt. Oh, man, I'm just big bone, man. <laughs> it's cool what they do there because that serves as a way, as I said, to introduce uh, to introduce some of the younger cast that we have, like Ty Sheridan as, uh, as Cyclops, you know? They're doing a lot in, in one scene, in one segment, that you don't, uh, that a lot of movies kind of like take their time with. God <laughs> damn. damn. <laughs> I told you I'm trying to take a shit. <laughs> I bet he won't do that no I more. I bet he won't either. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking on that door. Look, look at him. I said occupied. <laughs> all right, all right. So you had the Mexican option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, you know, it's not. Uh, you got you got people like uh, uh, Sophie Turner in the movie, who's the new Jean Grey. These kids are coming in. They're, they're taking the roles. They're you know, it's passed down to them, and they're doing them great service. Michael Fassbender, the movie introduces him where he's just a lowly factory worker, steel worker, just trying to do his job. You know, he just wants to be there every man. He's finally settled his ass down. Not <laughs> finally. Trying, <laughs> finally. Not trying to destroy the world out there. Getting, you know, getting yeah, up. but it's Magneto. How long does that last? He's, hey, of he course. Likes, tick, 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 tick. And he's bad again. Of course. And, and I'm on, you know what, I'm on. You know, here's, here's the thing. Like, that review that I shouldn't have been reading. Even though it said spoil at the top, I was just like, duh, duh, duh. and he, he right away tells what happens. I was like, oh. There are things here and there that just don't feel right, and they're interspersed throughout the film, and you're kind of forgiving them because some of the things that you see that don't feel right, they're in, bigger, they're, they're in a bigger context where it's cool. Jennifer Lawrence comes in. You look at her and it's like, yeah, I just, baby, I just don't feel like your heart's like this no more. Sure. <laughs> you know, you, I mean, she's in a bigger scene that's actually kind of badass she's in russia trying to free uh, nightcrawler character that everybody wants to see get done right yeah played by cody smith mcfee they feel like oh this is the nightcrawler that i want and they're putting him in the middle of a badass death cage match with another mutant angel and when you watch that okay he's like all right you know what well jennifer lawrence she'll wake up in a little bit you know i'm i'm distracted by this right here anyway <laughs> Hey, hast du dich verlaufen, kleine Maus? Der Kampf ist da vorne. Und gleich wird's spannend. Ah, meinst du das? Ja? Damn, she crucified them. <laughs> Got them nailed to that wall like Jesus. <laughs> it gets to a point where you realize she just don't give a shit no more. She's tired of doing this. I mean, she really, her character, Mystique, but her, her character is Has tired. lost its Mystique. <laughs> you know, I'll give you that one, man. I'll give you that one, because it's true. I was waiting for that right now. This is going to go one of two ways. <laughs> no, if your, if your puns ring true, I'll give it to you. <laughs> I should be a lawyer. But, but, yeah, man, she's not in this shit no more. Even her character ain't into it no more, man. She doesn't do anything in the movie except go around be a tired ass Jennifer Lawrence and give orders to other mutants. Every now and then she'll do an elbow to the face or something, but it's half ass. You know, get the fuck off me. But, you know, <laughs> She's just on a bus or something. <laughs> yeah, and here's and here's what you're talking about, Magneto, man. Magneto and uh, and, and uh, Professor Xavier, you know, they they starting up that annoying ass bromance again. Mm -hmm. You know, people at this point just like, man, why don't y'all just break up? <laughs> I'll fuck each other one of them, you know, because the people are just tired of this shit with them. Eric. Don't join them. Whatever it is you think you saw in me, I buried it with my family. Yeah, and it, uh, see, Oops, spoiler. <laughs> and it's a, they put in the trailer, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I didn't make the trailer. But they they start out with, the, you know, they, they come in and doing the same old dialogue. Of, hello, Charles. Hello, friend. You know, it's like, oh, hell, this again. You know, they always leave mad. But they can't stop fucking each other, so they go back. And, uh, you know, what I mean, it's, I mean, it's like look at it, like hello, Charles, hello, he hello, Eric, how are you? It's like, oh man, you know, y'all the most annoying couple that is not fucking each other out there. People really just, you can see the other mutants like, fuck, man, this shit. Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen. You know that at some point, 
uh, Magneto, gonna be Magneto. Yep. You know, he's gonna try to live right, and he's gonna find an excuse to be like, see, I told you, Charles, the, the assholes are no good. I'm curious as to what it is that makes him go that route. Like, he's asking, like, hey, man, can I take a break? No, nah, we need you to save it for like 10 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he destroyed a factory over a break? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're good performances. I mean, they're okay. still good performances. Uh, James McAvoy is still a great Professor X. Michael Fassbender, he's still committed to this role. You know, he ain't pulling Jennifer Lawrence. He's taking, still taking it seriously. Uh -huh. The thing that ruins it, though, is that it turns into, in, into major melodrama. Yeah, well, that's the thing with Apocalypse. He's always about... You know, I am the first mutant and I want to destroy all the other humans. But I'm talking about before that. I mean, at least he's playing the role of a supervillain. You know, this guy been doing this shit. At least Apocalypse is new. Magneto has a very heartbreaking scene in the movie. Sure. It's, uh, and you know, you watch it and you, uh, you get sucked into it. You're about to let that tear drop. And then he had to open up his mouth. You're feeling it until he does that, 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 oh, that, oh, that, no, that no, overacting no, thing. No, no, no. Why? <laughs> is this what you want from me? It's like, God, just calm your ass down, man. Damn. It really, that's like, wow, I was feeling this until your ass had to overact. <laughs> you know better than this, Michael Fassbender, man. You, you are, you, you, you are thespian. You know the, the stage and the screen. I mean, even if they told you to do that, you would have said, no, I'm not doing that. Because it's, it's horrible. It's a, it's a Darth Vader moment. Sp Spider-Man 2. So what happened to Spider-Man 2? That, that point where Dr. Octopus takes off his blindfolds and see all the people. And he's like, no! Yeah, but see, that's a good movie. Th that, <laughs> that, is, that is not a good movie. That's a great movie, man. That you are, I'm sorry, but you are, you are I, in the minority I, there, my friend. I, 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 I dare everybody to go back and watch. Mar, it we're again. talking about X Men. <laughs> <laughs> another superhero for another day. You gonna suck me into that shit? If you don't understand right now, you never will. No. <laughs> shit, you, yeah, you and I might as well be Professor X and Magneto. And That's Magneto. what it is. Y'all yeah. argue every week and come back to this. <laughs> Hello, Corey. Hello, Mar. <laughs> Mar, it's like I, I told you, <laughs> Spider Man Two is horrible. <laughs> me and Sam just on the side. Hurry up and fuck already. <laughs> <Yeah>. Shit. <laughs> Just give it a chance, Martin. <laughs> it really is good. <laughs> but, but uh, you talk about your boy, your, your your boy Apocalypse, man. I tried to be on his side because yeah, is it, I mean, guy, both of your boyfriends are in this. Who? who oh, you talking about uh, Michael Fassbender and uh, Oscar, Oscar Isaac? Oscar, Oscar Isaac. I do have a major man crush on Oscar Isaac, so you know I'm rooting for him. Michael Fassbender, no, it's ever, I told you, ever since 12 years of slave, fuck his old racist ass. Right? <laughs> what does he have to be to redeem himself in your eyes? <laughs> well, he can tell me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eric. <laughs> it's an interesting concept. You know, this whole thing of him being the first mutant, the way they blend that into history and religion, I thought initially that was kind of smart. These describe a specific set of powers greater than any man could possess. An all-powerful mutant. Exactly. And wherever this being was, he always had four principal followers, disciples, protectors he would imbue with powers. Like the four horsemen of the apocalypse. You got that one from the Bible. Or the Bible got it from him. I, I don't know anything about Apocalypse from the comics because I never read those comics, but here you really do want him to sit his ass down and shut up. He's got two modes going through this movie. It's either whispering, hello, my child, or just screaming his ass off about nothing. And what gets me is like, whenever he starts yelling, they, st they always halfway through, got to bring in that auto tune. Everything they've built will fall. And from the ashes of their world, we'll build a better one! Oh, well, he, sit your ass down, shut up. Who are you talking to? Yeah, yeah, what the fuck you talking to? And they do that every time. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> deaf. <laughs> I, I'm not the story <laughs> Signing this shit real dramatically. I'm on a boat! <laughs> Somebody across the street, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Damn man, <laughs> but the uh, there's nothing to him more than that. I mean, it's a very shallow character. Uh, Want to destroy the world? I'm gonna scream it out to everybody, and then at some point I'm gonna get my ass whooped. You know, that's what happened. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happens? So all these superheroes talking to all that shit, 
And but the, the other thing that really got me with this is I, I know people making jokes, and I said I wasn't going to do this because I thought it was kind of cheap at the time when they were calling your boy Ivan Ooze. Oh yeah, but this really does look like some shit off of Power Rangers, man. I mean, it's when uh, I can't believe the makeup job they did with this. Where when they do all these close up, it is straight up rubber. They should have just made him CG. I know it would have been like a. It may have looked bad to stare at for that whole time, but them going this route was a complete fuck up. You are correct. You haven't even seen it, but you can see that right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> the biggest thing that is wrong with this movie is that it just loses its fucking mind near the end. <laughs> it's 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 nothing but they just took a whole bucket of CG and just threw that shit at the screen, and it. And some people might like it. To me, it was exhausting to watch that. It's uh, it overwhelms the story. It overwhelms the emotions. It overwhelms the characters that you see in there. It is going fucking ape shit crazy near the end, man. You can tell that it's just a case of the studio coming in and having a bigger hand in this. I don't think that Brian Singer would do something like this. This is 20th Century Fox saying we need to have a case of bigger is better, so we can show up the Avengers. We can tell Batman, Superman, fuck off. <laughs> Anybody else who want to fuck with us in here? <laughs> and we got we, we got to make up a Fantastic Four in a big way. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, man. It's it, and and it doesn't make sense because the more money they get on the budget, the bigger the powers of of uh, of the superheroes. Like, have you noticed in every movie, Magneto is just getting crazier and crazier? Mm. What was the last one? A baseball stadium. He looked up. <laughs> he looked up and levitated a baseball stadium with one hand. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing this shit. Like he's singing opera. Oh. <laughs> you know? You call bullshit. It's like, yeah, he can move some metal, but a baseball stadium. Come on. Yeah, well, come <laughs> on. Kind of, nobody has that kind I of I mean, power. he's gone from what? A submarine <laughs> or a baseball stadium? Like, next is just going to be the whole planet. Well, well you close. Lift, he lifted a bridge in the third movie. And well, that know, was old Magneto, though. That's, but you know what? He's trained. Hey, you know, you're close right here because mm. in this one, it's a whole city. Word? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a whole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a whole fucking city. He just right. he turns one to just one big ass amusement park, man. <laughs> just putting his hand to the ground. I'm like, okay, y'all need to put a cap on this shit. <laughs> Did they just steal that from uh, the Avengers too? Well, he didn't levitate it, but okay. he just, he's just blowing the whole fucking city up, man. It's like, come on, you know, it's, you got it, it gets to a point where you're not. You, I know it sounds crazy because you're saying, oh well. He looks metal, but now you're getting silly, Corey. <laughs> but you have to retain some sort of believability with these characters, with these stupid ass powers, and they just they don't give a fuck here, man. They really don't. <laughs> That's all him. That wait, I'll show you. Oh, Hold yeah. on. I'm about to say, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. It's all him. Look at y'all, y'all levitating. You feel that? <laughs> no, this look at this. That's all him right there. All of that is him. You know, you thought oh, that was like a hurricane or something. Now did did apocalypse increase his power? Yeah, he did a little bit, but still, it's kind of okay, like, well, there you I, go. I, I knew you were going to say that shit. What? I'm just I asking. Gonna, no, no. You, I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not trying to trip you up. No, no. You, and you know what? You have a point. You 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 definitely have a point. I'm not, look, I'm giving it to you, man. Okay. Get, I mean, I'm just hoping you wouldn't say it. But, <laughs> look, I swear to God, if you say this but shit. Fuck. But you, but you're right. You could probably believe it if it wasn't already going crazy like this because it's at the point where you know it's not about the powers. It's about the money that they want to put in there and how much they want to make a spectacle out of this. You can tell that they're trying to repeat some things because, hey, it was cool in the last movie. Uh, Quicksilver. Quicksilver has another scene where he's doing what he that time in a bottle scene yeah. that they did in uh, uh, Days of Future Past. Uh -huh. They're doing it here. You know, they made it bigger. They have made it more explosive. They have stretched it out. There's nothing really innovative right there. And because they make it longer, and because this is all in slow motion right here, you know, you're like, uh, okay, you need to come on with this shit. <laughs> you know? Do they play Time in a Bottle again? <laughs> no, they play Sweet Dreams Are Made of This by Eurythmics. Okay. Oh. Which really doesn't... It doesn't make doesn't, sense. It doesn't make sense, really. Well, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny, but we've seen it. We've already seen it before. I will say, I forgot that actor's name. Evan Peters. Evan yeah. Peters, but he's a uh, Peterson. Evan Peters. 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 No, he's he's still a lot of fun to watch though. Yeah. I, when he's you know even minus the whole Quicksilver scene right there, something small right here that I'm gonna really give the movie credit for. They do a lot of globe trotting here. They do a lot of cutting from one country to the next, from one continent to the next. 
for a movie that has so much confusing things going on, they actually handled that pretty well. Okay. Yeah, it, the editing and the pacing of it was all right when it came to actually taking you to uh, different places. You never felt really lost or anything. You kind of knew exactly where people were. So the editing on this is very well. <clears throat> but as far as everything else, bullshit. <laughs> no, actually, it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say, like, everything you're saying makes me go like, all right, I want to see it, but I'll have low expectations. Yeah. You <laughs> try to sneak into the theater. Yeah. <laughs> you can. <laughs> Should I tell you that? What a better than sex movie, mm. man. But with this, it's not, look, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's not good. It's, <clears throat> it's something where they missed everything that made those other X-Men movies what they uh, are. That's too bad. Yeah. I mean, it really is something where they finally, in a Brian Singer movie, they finally succumb to the weakness of, hey, you know what? We just got to throw everything at the screen and wow people. And all the characterization that they're building up, all the, the the new people that they're introducing, they don't have a chance against all this crazy stuff that's happening right here. And that's a shame because you can see Brian Singer's direction in there with his with his actors, but he ain't no he, he is no competition for that computer. <laughs> that's CG <laughs> <that> CG one. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I. Uh, I would really, really recommend this as a rental. I mean, people, people are gonna go see this anyway because it's one of the you must see movies of the summer. And maybe I lowered your expectations, but if you're really a big fan of these movies, prepare to have your heart broken. Oh Just wow! Yeah. Damn. Better or worse than X Men Three? Uh, X Men Three is still worse. But this is just a tiny bit ahead, man. Better or worse than Batman vs. Superman? Oh, brother, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all still hold the bullshit trophy right there, Batman Superman. <laughs> so every other yeah. superhero movie so far this year has been bad. Deadpool, good. Batman v. Superman, bad. horrible. Yeah. Then uh, Cap, and then this. And then this. Then this. I, I, I don't, I've been trying to restrain myself. I've been trying to restrain myself because it's the best way for me to put this is just to say if you saw Captain America Civil War and you admired it for how well they did those action sequences and how they, everything made sense how every character had a purpose this is the complete opposite of that okay so if you haven't seen Civil War go see this first no no because this is fucking slop right here <laughs> this is CG slop now if you excuse me I gotta check the cash from Disney <laughs> <laughs> yo man see I told you I told you <laughs>